Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome. Yep, I thought I'd do it again. It's time. We're gonna do more. Since I'm gone for the next, since I'm gone, gonna be gone after next week for a couple weeks. Gotta gotta fill in the gaps, right? Plus, I just need more of this game. Why not? <laughs> uh. Gosh, I wish this game was on the Switch. I really do. It's not. I wish it was. Uh, don't starve, is though, and it's tempting me. <laughs> How's everyone else doing? Good? Yes? I'm gonna drink a lot of water, so I have to take like three breaks today, alright? Don't know how long I'm going to stream for, but we'll see. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I should just be taking today off and relaxing, but... Eh, couldn't relax. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, I get my, I get my un one union approved break. If I was in a union, we'd have at least five breaks, alright? All right, where did we get to in this? Let's see. We got the toilets, the showers. When did they build the shower? I never actually saw them build the shower, did I? Because remember, that's the thing they weren't doing. Did they do this while I was gone? Guys. The, du the dupes have been working while I'm away. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we we're getting some extra copper. Let's see, we need to explore some, so... We might just send them out. Let's see, where do we want to go? I know there's an ice biome right here, and I know there's one... up here? I wanted to see if we could get at any... Any reed fiber other than that, we're gonna have to raise Draco. Which we can raise Draco. So let's see, if we're gonna get these dudes out of here. Probably send them down here. There's another slime biome down here, which means the potential for reed fiber as well. Could just go in down into here. Let's see. I remember there was a bit of Ah. Looks like all the slime lung the oh no, there's still a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna have to be really careful because you can't see most of this, but there is some slime lung here. Be really careful how I dig. Hello, Dark Omen! And a wild Avalon enters the room. Oh crap, it's wild. <laughs> Tied up, it's wild! <laughs> Don't let it in here. Uh, let's see. I think we can go through Abyssalite now. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just start going down here, because we'll have to dig over here at some point anyway, so. But yeah, let's see. So we got the toilet, the shower is getting worked on. Yeah, we need to go down here and grab some... Uh... Man, maybe I shouldn't be playing this on a day my brain just doesn't want to work. Is that safe? I think that's safe. What am I doing? What am I doing? And this has no surface germs. Yeah, so we can try to get a look over here. Under a thousand germs won't get him sick. 
Yeah, I mean at this point, yeah, it's it's not bad. Plus, it's just infected. It, it would die in the oxygen. It doesn't emit anything, so. It would only get on surface. It's uh, that for that it's only surface. So if it's on the algae, it's not so good. We've emerged from a place of spells and fairies. So many times, someone's been trying to steal your things and bring random creatures back to the base. Various games. I'm the only fat one here. Well, around, around here, we actually need some more critters. Just clean that up. Is anybody going up here? What is this? That's a weird edging for Abyssalite. Alright, how much algae do I have? A little low on algae. Take some of this algae out. Try to get more algae. So, I mean, apparently we're getting some kind of actual fall weather the week I'm gonna be here. Don't tell me that! I'm, I, I want it to be warm when I get there. What kind of fall weather is it gonna be? The shit. <laughs> Look, it's winter. It's winter here, nine months out of the year. Look at this. I want. I want. To, I want a little bit more summer. <laughs> Don't you cuck me, Florida? Don't you cuck me? <laughs> Uh, like highs in the 70s. Okay, well 70s is fine. As long as it's not lower than that. I just I, I was trying to see if I could hold off doing laundry for another week. I just couldn't. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to pack some shorts. It's weird. I'm gonna have to pack shorts and probably a coat. For the two locations I'm going to. In the meantime, what is everyone doing? Wait. What bubbled that water? I just saw that water move. Did someone go to the bathroom? Looks like everyone's going this way. Is anyone going up here? Ah! Dark Omen's going up here, so we can get some eyes on. I mean, if we were desperate, we could go after that. <laughs> Weird not metric. You want in the game? Uh, well, the current character we've got available is Bert. The character that you... Everyone's got a name so far except for Bert. Do you want to be Bert? Here's Bert. Bert's pretty good. It's gonna come down to we're gonna have to raise Draco. There's a lot over here, but nothing I can really root reasonably. That's 
It's infested. This area is not infested, but there's no reed fiber. A little bit of slime lung right there. Oh, this is morb in there. I think Prime Marvel has the honor. You'll be Bert. Do you want to screw up stuff? Uh. I mean, honestly. Oh wait, is they've actually finished the shower? Ah, oh, sweet. Okay, good. I was gonna say honestly, no one was working on the shower. For, like the longest time. Here. Not me wood. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Rick's Rick's the champion. He's a champion. Here's some reed fiber, but I don't think we can reach it. Ooh. We might be able to reach that if we snuck over here. Could potentially reach that. All right, guys, let's see. These two have zero surface terms, so if I dig that out. Doing a line at the moment. What's in here? Chlorine. We don't want to break that out. Okay. All right. Get down here. Uh, did I restart yesterday? Yeah, I did. I, uh, I restarted yesterday so we could take full advantage of the latest update. Because there are new creatures that spawn on the surface, and they weren't going to be on the map. The map was The old map wasn't broken. They just weren't going to be in the game without me having to spawn them in. And I didn't want to do that, so. And that's why I'm streaming this weekend, too, is to try to catch up a little bit. What was the symbol next to the shovel? In the boxes? Hang on. Let me pick some research here. We'll do... That exosuit's researched. Not that we can do anything with them. We'll go with... Yeah, we'll just learn, learn that. In fact, we'll learn all that right there. This? This is Wrangle. If you mean this, this box right here. It's for wrangling critters. If you're a flatulent character. No flatulent characters in my base! Agree with Darko and feed you. Agree with Darko and feed you cheesecake. Let's cancel this dig for now. Actually, I had a bit of a dream about this game last night, and like in the dream, I like apparently unleashed just a load of slime lung into the base. <laughs> oh, that's how much this game is getting into my head. I kind of want to get in. This isn't going to be easy to reach. 
I kind of want to get in here without letting... Without letting water just flow down. Symbols at the dig site? Oh. This just means you have to have a higher tier miner. So, like, if it's a standard like that, they have to be an actual job miner. So in here, they have to be apprentice miner to dig a one diamond. And two diamonds, they have to be an actual miner to do it. So, like, there, that's just a standard. So they don't have to be a miner to do it. So that just means this is extra hard material. Plus it takes extra long to cut through it. Oxygen escaped. Whoa, what, what have we got? Idle folks. What's going on with that, huh? Alright, well, we can kind of proceed this way. I think we're gonna have to dig a little bit further in this direction just to see what's over here. Because that's a lot of coal. I think we're gonna raise Draco anyway, to be honest. It's not a bad chance to get some early f uh, plastic if we do it right as well. So we might make this a Draco farm. Of Dracos. Mm. All right, well, Draco Farm, it's gonna be Dracos, it's these dudes. They are Dracos. Standard Drekos, when you shear them, they'll give you reed fiber, and if you can get them to lay a glossy egg, they'll produce plastic. But to get them to regrow their scales after you shear them, they have to be in hydrogen. But to get them to try to mutate, or get them to try to lay a glossy egg, you have to feed them mealwood. So it's a bit of a mixture you have to deal with them. Okay, if we seal this area off up here, we can make this a Draco farm. Let's go ahead and see about getting on that project. What's the germs look like? If we dig into this... Germs are in there. This is all clean. Hang on, 
Is that clean? Yeah, that's fine. Right, we'll have to airlock this. But it's getting, it's not too bad. It's mainly down here. Where all the batteries and everything are. Actually do have a bit seeping in from above. Probably seal that off. This is going to have to be a sealed room. Uh, did we get down here? We got someone digging. Okay, we got all the way over here. There's something over here. We got something right there. Let's see what that is. All right, and we'll just... If we do this right, we really don't have to airlock it, but... Honestly, we have to... Do... Honestly, because the way these Drekos are, we need to double airlock it, because these bastards <laughs> slip out the door all the time. I only have my base opening from below. I've got two sides open. I've got over here. I've got them going down here. Yeah, Hatch, you stay in there. Oh. doesn't need to be in there. Gonna uproot that when they get down there. Base is a bit of a mess right now. So would you not want to double airlock the hydrogen? Uh, it'll be fine. We're only going to make it so that the hydrogen is on... Because the hydrogen will go up to the ceiling. And so then as long as we put just enough hydrogen up here... Because the thing of it is, is um, we want to put mealwood in here. Mealwood doesn't grow in hydrogen. So we basically keep it so that the hydrogen is up on the ceiling... And then down here is anything but hydrogen. So that the mealwood will grow. Everyone's everyone's doing quite fine. Not, and we're not in any big trouble right now. Algae is a bit, a bit skimmer than I'd like it to be, but... Honestly, we get rid of this. Let's 
So yeah, we'll just temporarily put an electrolyzer up here, pump hydrogen to the ceiling, and then disable it. Dinner. I'd like some dinner. <laughs> no, I had dinner. I'm always good for dinner. <laughs> what do we got down here? We got some natural gas down here. Where is everyone? Oh. Someone dug that out fast. <laughs> hmm, how do I want to do this? I just don't want the I don't want the ice to melt. If heat seeks uh, seeps up here. Do it like this. No germs in there. Dracos like to escape out the doors. I know my last Draco forum, they kept doing that. <laughs> uh, you having Taco Bell? Son of a bitch. And you had it for lunch. Uh, uh, the Taco Bell, oh god, so the Taco Bell where my mom lives is pretty much gone because the, there's been sinkholes opening up in the parking lot for the past couple years. So it's like the one that's in the town where she lives is just gone pretty much. It's still there, but it's not been open for a couple years. Uh, we'll get you some. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gone into it's going into the sinkhole. Yeah, my mom sends me videos sometimes because somebody apparently takes videos of it, especially when it's raining. And yeah, so I've seen videos of just water bubbling up in the parking lot and the sinkholes getting bigger and it's nuts. Alright, has anybody had a shower? Looks like somebody has, because you're not- you're still feeling grimy. You're still- but at least a couple people have had a shower. Oh, There he is. You see, he's still got a shirt on. You gotta- are you a never nude? <laughs> Smarty McPie a never nude? Alright, everyone's harvesting all our food. So you just showered. So when Gulf 421, then the Wilkes will have to do something about it. Yeah, I know, right? Because it's right along. It's the, the Taco Bell's like right along a main road. 
So yeah, that sinkhole keeps getting bigger. <laughs> there are dozens. <laughs> Do yeah, there are dozens of us. Dozens. Well, everyone's going to work on the... Uh, sure. Oh, good. Someone's working on these jobs. Well, research is done. Where'd that hatch go? Is it <laughs> Did we bury the hatch in a wall somewhere? You and the whole town should protest in front of the place. Eh. There's so many other things to protest, to be honest. Oh, we're starting to get up here, too. Kind of got everyone going everywhere, so... Is, there's a bit of oxygen here. There's only one wheeze wart. Okay, and then we have to make sure it's going to be able to fit. Let's see. So let's see, we'll have to put a platform. This might not be tall enough, actually, now that I think about it. Um, stations. Oh yeah, this isn't gonna be tall enough. We either gotta raise up the room or lower the floor. Let's see. Ah, there is a natural gas geyser down here. Thought so. Yeah, we're definitely not sneaky in there. Another one here, but we're not getting anywhere near it. All right, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go up. At least right here, so. Construct. Just edging close to that slime. Uh, next time you need to time your visit for the Apple Festival. Yeah, I know. I want to go to the Apple Festival, but, you know. It's hard to time all that stuff.
I suppose the best part about keeping the Drekko room up here is that eventually we could just, if we decided we wanted to change this, we just break a block and vent the hydrogen up. Up higher. Uh, yeah, I had the thought, though. It's like, have, have you gone, Avalon? Have you gone to the Apple Festival this year? Besides, when it comes to my planning, I measure once and cut as many damn times as I need to. <laughs> Everyone's vitals, everyone's doing okay. You like apples and bananas? <laughs> Build all the things! Got it, boss! Wait! I didn't measure it! Why would I measure it? Actually, everyone can reach this. Just cancel that dig. Get some of that sweet, sweet algae, though. Okay. Deconstruct these ladders. Finish that tile yet. <laughs> I measure five times and still get it wrong. Uh, you went, but you didn't stay long. Kay got sick and we had to leave. Didn't even get a funnel cake. That's when you need to start having serious thoughts about your child. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Stations. How much power does this take? It's only 60 watts. Yeah, that'll fit. Um, and then we need... Let's see here, if I... We wanted to be able to get to the floor and the ceiling, so... If you didn't get a funnel cake, did you even really go? <laughs> uh, I haven't had a funnel cake in a long time. You haven't been to the county fair in years. You have yours in a few weeks. You should go. If you can. <laughs> Okay, we need to get some farm tiles in here so that the Drekos... will have some food. We need a critter drop off. Which is 
somewhere. Critter drop offs under food for some weird reason. Sure. Actually, uh, yeah, they can. They can get around. Although, let's cancel that. Because they can't hop this gap, but they can hop this gap. <laughs> you should be doing homework right now. What kind of homework? Oh, those kinds of places. You take a date. You have no date. Maybe next year. Bah. Not when it's for the food, because then you can just gorge on as much as you want. Right? Alright, we've got... A builder. We've got him learning ranching. Um, what else do we need at the moment? To learn to tie things. Cancel that. Do that. <laughs> doing your vet tech classes, finally being an adult and doing your certification. Awesome. Hope that goes well. Uh, we finished that research. Okay. What is this thing? Modular, modular forge. Oh, molecular forge. I remember that. Yeah, we'll do that research next. Okay, temperature is good in here. Just need to power that. Get some hydrogen in. Set this thing over here. We're gonna basically have to be on the trigger on this. How much copper do I have? I've got a bunch of copper now. Uh, how much are we running? 9, 10. This thing runs... 120. Uh, this is on that circuit, though. That'll be fine. It's only temporary. We have a close circuit here. Not really.
Uh, you're not done with it yet. It's just your first semester. semester. <laughs> your hillbilly accent helps with your country clients. Most of your country clients wouldn't be bringing in their animals. No, I'll just take them out to the back of the shed. <sighs> God, it reminds me of that one commercial on the City Skylines radio. It's like, what was your plan for this weekend? My plan was go to the zoo and try to speak to the animals. I did that last weekend. But, a, but I was concentrating really hard, or what was it? But I tried last weekend, but a cow kept telling me to move and I lost my place. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, we're gonna have to water lock though if we're gonna get at these Drekos, because I don't want to let this chlorine and stuff in. We haven't got that far yet. We're almost down here. Uh. Is that stuff I built in the room? Okay, I built a shearing station and a farm station and a critter drop-off. And then I'm waiting on the electrolyzer to be built. Because the electrolyzer will separate water into hydrogen and oxygen. And I just need the hydrogen which will float to the top of the room. And then we'll disconnect this really quick once the top chambers starts filling up. And then that way when the Dreco are in here, when we shave them, uh, they'll go up here into the hydrogen and start restoring their scales. But with this reed fiber, then we can get uh, exosuits. Normally we can get it from these things, but we don't have enough of them I can really reach. Reed fiber is sometimes hard to get because of the slime lung. What is it? I saw some right here. There's. It wouldn't be impossible to try to get this, just clean up that slime lung. We'd have to wait for it, though. Just waiting for this to be powered now by the looks of it. Alright, let's close that door. <laughs> Why is folks idle? There's plenty of jobs to do at the moment. Okay. Now we're pumping hydrogen into the top. Pressure's a little high in here. Open this door. It's not terrible if hydrogen gets out. I'll just float at the top. When I was mistreating them and make them look funny. Oh, what, the Dreco? <laughs> Can 
I think the pressure in the base is kind of high. Just have to keep an eye on that. And so in the meantime, we're going to have to get some Dreco. These guys look like they might be the easiest to reach. Then again, this is a big fucking chamber. It's easy to reach Dreco anywhere else. Not really. Right, so I'm thinking we waterlock this spot. Dig this out. This will become. This will be where exosuits go. So if that's there, there'll be a door here. So then. Pumps in the water. Just yeah, air pressure so high right now. I'll have to start scrubbing the CO2 soon. Probably do it like probably down on this level. So our food's down here. Everything into space. Uh, that was on the last map. We had so much like polluted oxygen and everything. We were just venting it out into space, literally. Piping it up and venting it out. even gotten down here. Are we entirely at pressure? Sort of. Let's turn the algae off for a little bit. This is producing oxygen anyway. Okay, that's done. Well, now you go out there to work on that job. Playing Dragon Quest Eleven, I would love it. How is it? I haven't played. Dra I don't think I've played a Dragon Quest since Seven. All right. 
I'll let everyone do jobs before I start filling that up because I don't want everyone to get stressed out by going through the water. Almost down there, guys. suppose we could lower the pressure if I put the carbon skimmer in. We're already kind of overloading this circuit, though. Just talked about that show last night. Oh, wait. Hang on. Uh, Venture everything fitness. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about Venture Brothers. Yeah, that's right, we were. Yeah, and they started a new season of Venture Brothers. It's true turn-based RPG, and it's really fun. It has an addiction between that and Stardew. I think you put almost in 300 hours into Stardew. By the way, Avalon, do you have a Switch? Because I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I haven't played Stardew in a while. I don't think I've played Stardew since I streamed it last time. Alright, well this will... It's so much pressure. Again, this isn't... That's just algae, yeah. Uh, I'll harvest that stuff. Man, imagine just find that little tiny pocket of air floating around in there. So you, you do? Oh, uh, so you do have it. I'm looking for suggestions, honestly. Because <laughs> we got a switch uh, a few days ago. So I'm, I'm looking for suggestions. We got Breath of the Wild. But I, I need stuff to keep me entertained on my flight. Stuff that will stuff that stuff that will help me forget. I'm gonna be on an eight to nine. Hour, I'm gonna be you know in airports and on that shit for the next like twelve hours. <laughs> uh, are you the only one that doesn't have a switch? Well, we didn't have one until very recently. Octopath Traveler. Some people said, you know, some people said it was good. I heard some people say Octopath Traveler was good. Breath of the Wild is good. Stardew is awesome. I see. The thing of it is, I'm tempted to get games like that, uh, like City Skylines. I know they say there's a bit of a performance issue with City Skylines, but I'm trying. At the same time, I'm tempted to try to not get games I own on PC. Because, like, it'd be fun to, to travel with them, but at the same time... I kind of want to avoid picking games I've already got. Finish some research. Good. 
<laughs> insufficient oxygen generation. I kind of need... I kind of need less oxygen generation right now. <laughs> That's kind of the problem. Um, let me get up here. Okay, we've done all that research. Boz will start working on healthcare. Uh, hold please. You need to stream the Switch if Nintendo doesn't ban people for it? No, I don't think they- no, they definitely don't. I know people have done- there is a way to do it on the Switch. I think you just plug an HDMI cable in or something. I could potentially do it. I feel like classic RPGs like OG Final Fantasy Octopath is for you. If you do the service, there's like classic Nintendo games. Yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. I know that's definitely up my alley as well. I'm tempted to try to get Don't Starve, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Again, I'm trying to, as tempting as it is to get some of these games for the Switch, I'm, at the same time, trying to avoid getting them for what I have for PC. Pretty sure you need to get a capture card. I don't think there's an internal way to do it. Well, I mean, I have an Elgato. Because, I mean, I'm streaming to the other PC on a capture card right now. Assuming the Elgato HD 60 would do it. Cromores. Again, nobody. We got a lot of never nudes in here. This is the, where the dozens of them are, I guess. Taking this hydrogen so long. Let's see, everyone's made it over there. I kind of want to send them over here as well. Can we? Yeah, I don't really want to pass that hydrogen. Looks like practically all the surface germs have entirely died over here. Do that. Except they can't get there because they got to do this. Hydrogen's starting to build up. <laughs> I really didn't expect, again, pressure. I never expect pressure to be an issue. You went to see Distant Worlds and you... Oh, that was that Final Fantasy thing, wasn't it? <laughs> I the Okay, here's the funny thing. Do you remember Jenny and Sparky? Because while I don't post on Facebook, I still check Facebook. And, like, they posted pictures of them being there. And then that same night, you tweeted that you were there. And I was just like... <laughs> they must both be there at the same time. Yeah, the Never Nudes is Arrested Development. So 
so many nerds in so many different forms of dress. I never even heard of Distant Worlds until you guys were like posting about it. Yeah, first three seasons of Arrested Development are good. I never actually finished the the recent season. I don't know. It wasn't as good. I never finished it. Then again, I never finished. I never finished the second season of Stranger Things either. I watched the first season. I didn't finish the second season. Oh, you stayed at their house that weekend because they're Gabe's roommates. Oh, so you you were you were all there together. I see. Ah, cool. Yeah, because I was just like, whoa. I wonder, I wonder if they spotted each other. That's funny. Because yeah, I don't I don't post on Facebook, but yeah, they did, and I I just check it once in a while. Like, oh, they're all there. <laughs> yeah, I watched Stranger Things. We got Netflix now. We finally we finally broke down and got Netflix. So I could watch like Regret Sico and then I watched I rewatched all of Arrested Development, except for the remake season and uh I've watched like some movies here and there. I watched Stranger Things. So they were in the bottom and you were on the top balcony. Well, it's cool as you guys got to go out and go see it. Oh, this is taking longer than I ever thought it would. Breathe heavy, guys. Actually, don't breathe heavy. Got one industrial fiber, or one reed fiber now. It's probably good enough. There's, we can probably go ahead and start putting the Drekos in here. Although, once I close these doors, which actually, is this a ranch or a stable? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. And you went all the way up there just to deliver that. And then you come back. Anime is Seven Deadly Sins, I think you think I would like. I've not watched an anime in forever. <laughs> it's been so long. Film Mark Orchestra playing Final Fantasy music? Did I ever talk about them? I think maybe Distant Worlds may have played here in Amsterdam at some point, but I don't remember. We avoid Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, I started watching, what was it? The Haunting of Hill House. I like it and I hate it. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. It's good. I've watched like the first four episodes of it. They're an hour long. It's good, but the fucking time jumps drive me crazy, and all the women in it look the same. So it's hard to know who's who. It's like, it's good, but it fucking... Yeah, 
And so Wigaluna pointed out to me that today, I think, that you can kind of see stuff hidden in rocks. If you just happen to have a buried plant, you can actually see it if you use this overlay. But there's nothing buried. I want to harvest that, though. Insane name, but remember talking about it? Yeah, I might have talked about it at some point. Yeah, Haunting of Hill House wasn't what I expected. It, like I say, it's good. It's just it time jumps all the time. Because, like, you're following this family, and then it goes, it, it's like, okay, here's 20 years ago, now it's two years ago, now it's today, now it's two years ago, now it's yesterday, now it's the day before yesterday, now it's 20 years ago again, now it's, the, now it's yesterday. And it's just, for fuck's sake! And all the women and sisters look the same, so you have no idea whose character is who. It drives me nuts. It's like I'm bad, I'm terrible at remembering faces anyway. And so a show like that, that's just like... God, it's annoying. It's good, but it's annoying. You have an Instagram? What are you kids, you kids and your in Instagrams? Back in my day, we just had graham crackers. <laughs> and they weren't instant. You got your Instagrams, your, your animal grams, and your honey grams. <laughs> what about your telegrams? You hate those things? Wait, you hate what? <laughs> so you do Instagram. And I don't even do freaking Reddit. <laughs> God, I've become that. Oh, look at this. We've got this polluted water coming down. I was afraid that would melt. Right, what do we got up here? Looks like we got a whole lot of jack squattery. Oh yeah, you hate the forwards and backwards leaps and shows. Yeah, I hate that. If if the show wasn't good, I would probably have dumped it already, but I was just like, eh. It's good enough. <laughs> I can deal with it, I guess. Everyone's gonna get stressed from that water. All right, are oh, we pumped? Not quite pumped yet. All right, we've got healthcare all researched up. At this point, we're just at this point we're just researching anything and everything. There's nothing we need particularly. Sure, do that. really use reddit reddit is my time wasting life youtube is mine i still watch a lot of youtube use the googles it has pipes uh the lords of water deep mobile game it's made of pipes uh, is this... A 
feel like this is actually going to try to push down over here. Although this thing's starting to go off a bit more. Just need this top layer with hydrogen. Okay, well we've managed to get up here. Oh look, we got an nullifier. That's pretty aces. Look. There's no... Let's dig here. Yeah, there's no slime here. You guys done. I'd say this is about ready. It's almost Draco time. <laughs> you kids changing my pipes? You need surgery for that. Okay, yeah, I think... Well, deconstruct that pipe. That should be enough hydrogen for the Drekos. Seven on that, guys. There we go. We'll let that thing finish out. Or not, actually. Yeah. We'll let it do a little more. The pipe's disconnected, but that's fine. So I think I'm probably ready to waterlock this and try to get in here and get at these Draco. Although everyone's still trying to get up here. So this is... Oh god, look at that. This is going to be kind of annoying, though, that this is here. Because those lockers, we won't be able to delete them. So we'll, have to build, we'll have to build around those damn things to use this nullifier. Wow. Alright, let's get this going again. Okay, for now, let's cancel this, so they can't get to that. Actually, they can get to that. that. Enable auto bottle. Alright, 
Avalon's getting a bit stressed. Yeah, air pressure. <laughs> Air pressure is high up top, not so much down below. So I want to ask: Is this exchange for your pipes? You all do, <laughs> you do all the work? What are you doing right now? I don't actually know where you are. Oh, you're on the research bench. Ah, there you are. Okay, can we we'll go ahead and deconstruct that? It might cause a spill, but that's okay. Alright. We're starting to get the water lock set up. Done. Okay, empty pipes. So we don't end up with a spill. Researching animal cures. Is there a cure for animals? Betty time for everyone. Food supplies are perfect, so we're not worried about food. Pour sugar on all the things. So what are what are your thoughts on eating meal lice? Just raw meal lice. Yeah, it's tasty, isn't it? What do we want to deconstruct? Why not just deconstruct? Hang on. Why not disconnect to use it later? Uh, well, we don't need any more hydrogen in here. I don't want. I don't really want to risk hydrogen getting out. Is the thing. Don't really want hydrogen in the base. Look at these dudes. They're just. This is an old one, isn't he? Oh no, wait, this is a youngin. Starting to get over here, which means we'll reach this algae. Anything else down here? There's a geyser buried right there. Or something. This little bastard. Just farting out polluted oxygen. Dick. Probably very crunchy, full of protein and gross. 
No, I see, I, I described this yesterday, is imagine, you know, it's kind of a chewy outside, but once your teeth bite in and puncture, you get this just, like, explosion of bio-goo. Bet it's like eating a gusher, except absolutely horrif <laughs> horrific, horrifying. Guys, can we up the priority on this one a bit? I want to get get at these Draco. Because the sooner we get reed fiber, the sooner we can start oxidizing for oxygen instead of using algae. So eating a moving abscess, guys. <laughs> yeah, they squirm too. Don't worry. Every once in a while, you get a bristleberry. We can pickle them. You can pickle the meal ice. That's an option. Alright, stress is back down, so we're not worried about stress right now. Just need to get everyone through there. What's the temperature? Good lord, that computer is hot. Oh, damn, maybe we need to... <laughs> Get this one wheeze wart that we can actually reach. Let's see what. Meal time. Mmm, tasty. Delicious. Man, your p cheeks just puff out. It all explodes. <laughs> Pickled abscesses. <laughs> the mason jars. Mm, tasty. Alright, come on, guys. We got jobs to do. Algae to dig. Pipes to empty. Apparently, do we not have any? We don't have a plumber, I guess. I thought we trained someone as a plumber. I guess not. Oh, well, we'll do that next time. Next time someone potentially masters a job. We get a whistle, whistle wart in there. Someone's got to go through the water to get it, though. Get a little more. Just once I break in here, this chlorine's gonna seep in. And I don't want no chlorine getting in the base. <laughs> Let it fill up just a little bit more. That should be the plumber. We all have our, we all have our cracks out at work. That's why you got your Harley Quinn tramp stamp. We all have our cracks out at work. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Disable that. And disable that. Reach. 
dig into this. Get down into here and try and wrangle these guys. Of course he would run away. It's happening. It's happening. Bam. All right, let's get these doors closed. Put that on a priority seven. Draco, get out. Draco didn't stay tied down for long. Oh, there he goes. Picked up a thousand kilograms of Dreco. <laughs> oh, we can't get him. He's down there. Wait, did you just... You dropped the... <laughs> For fuck's sake, guys! <sighs> it was mealtime, so he just drops the gecko. Or the, the the Dreco. For fuck's sake, he was delivering it, and as soon as the meal bell, meal bell happened, whoop! <laughs> Just dropped him. You're hungry. Ugh. <sighs> Well, you know what? The sooner we get this base sorted out, the sooner y'all can eat better food. And getting Drekos is part of this mission. So now we can't reach the Dreko. started to grab him and then just didn't. Draco. And some phosphorite. If for some reason these dudes love doors, so they just... Hang on, you just got infected with... No, you didn't, actually. Nobody's gone after that wheeze wart yet. 
should be able to breach it. Okay. That research is done. We'll just go bottom up, I guess. Ah. Better priority nine, that animal stuff. Eh, they'll be okay. Drug can get out from mech doors, use pneumatic doors. Oh, they do, <laughs> they do, in fact, escape, uh, manual doors. They've done it before. I had serious problems with them doing that. That's why, that's why it's double locked, too, because a Dreco would always get in the manual door and then wander his way out every single time. Hey, look, we shaved his butt off. Alright, that means we got reed fiber. So how's these other jobs? Nobody's getting up there. Getting at that. I'm sure I can get out from many mech doors. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they've gotten out from the manual doors before. They've gotten out from the manual airlocks. Oh, you mean these, maybe? Actually... Uh, you know what? You might be right. And actually, we don't have to worry about keeping this sealed because it, the hydrogen's all safe up here, so... Yeah, I think I see what you're saying. We had we didn't do it with pneumatic doors. We did it with um, manual airlocks. So we'll try that. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, you may be right because I think I've seen them just fall off those doors. Whereas the other doors, they would sneak out. All right, well, we've got ourselves a couple Dreco. They ever decide to go after that guy that kind of keeps running off. Uh, this means we should be able to get a suit. Though we are... Got a thousand watts on this line. Although I don't think we're going to need this pump. This pump takes 130. 30. So we could probably disconnect that one off the circuit. So I don't think we're going to need this pump for a little while. Then that'll free up power. This suit forge. Ah, we need some more refined metal. What do we got? We got a bit of gold. We got a lot of copper now. So let's do copper. That's iron. Has anybody gone for that Wii's wart yet? Absolutely no one. I know you can reach that. In case you can't, I guess we'll... There we go. Mike Doors is for critter rooms, proved and tested. Alright. That means we'll deconstruct that, because yeah, I do want air to get in here, so... Yeah, actually, I, 
now thinking back on it, I do recall the Draco just falling off the door, so... Alright. Look at those sad little bastards. Stunted scales. He's not being groomed. About to lay an egg, too. Uh, we really don't need another Dreco right now, so we had. <laughs> We're not even getting him, so. Cancel that wrangle. Uh, I'll cancel that, too, so they don't need to come out and get the stress down a bit. We're getting over here at the algae. Excellent. Good. What do we got down here? So we're doing good. Uh, you gotta run, Avalon. All right. Well, thank you for stopping in. Have a good night. And if I if I don't see you if I don't see you sometime next week, hopefully I'll see you when I'm I'm in the states for a bit. In like three weeks, is it now? Yeah, three weeks. All right, let's see. Do we have? Yes, got enough. How much power is this thing? Fine. We'll overload it slightly, but we're not using all that power. Um, okay. All right, we'll start pushing this out. Fix this up. Alright, well, we've managed to get around the very hard to access reed fiber. So once we get some suits, we'll start making our way. We'll start working on this, and we need to start working our way over here to try to get more Weezwort. So we can start getting in here and changing up our oxygen supply. So that'll be good. Jobs mastered and research complete. Uh, that one's still going. Who mastered a job? Ah, Dark Omen can dig now. Working towards plumbing. All right. Dark Omen, work on Courier. Uh, we're gonna need... We'll need a scientist soon, so that's okay. Anybody coming up here for the dang Weege Warrant? For fuck's sake. It's hot as balls right here. <laughs> With the temperature down here. Ugh. 
Ugh. And we got six reed fiber now. Sweet. Yeah, the Draco will pretty much jumpstart us into these exosuits, and then they'll eventually give us our starter plastic, probably, once they once they do a shiny. Probably go ahead and sweep up in here, too. Ah, somebody got that wheeze work. Finally. <laughs> Someone ran by just as I was selecting that. I don't know why they keep running down there to get water. It seems weird. No, I guess they're not. This wire needs done. Which algae we have. Again, we're getting a bit skimp on the algae. We need to get down here and get this. Good. Base is repressurizing after we let it kind of fade out of it. Ah, uh, with that water lock there, we can probably go ahead and deconstruct this stuff. Seize it. It's a little hot right there. Do that. Oxygen's not going anywhere. It'll be fine. Dragos are doing their thing. We've got a wheeze wart. We're gonna dig out this algae for a, to extend our life period a bit. Start getting over here so we can find some more wheeze wart. Uh, there might be more up here, but at this point we need we need exosuits to kind of get out. I kind of like on this playthrough that it's made me dis made me use Drekos instead for the reed fiber. I kind of like it. It's just a bit different. It's for it forced me into another position. Plus, I'll be honest. Up up until the last map where we were trying to get the glossy Drekos, I didn't actually know that. Shearing standard Dracos actually gave you reed fiber. <laughs> I discovered that kind of, I, I noticed that kind of on accident and I was like, oh, well that makes things a bit easier. Let's 
scene. Once we start getting our oxygen a bit more under control, we can finally get the sixth dupe. Alright, I guess a bunch of cleanup jobs are happening because... Kind of want priority on this. Let's see, how many can we get? Can't quite get two. She'll get one. There we go. It's happening. Atmos suit. Oh, we got enough for the other. Sweet. Two Atmos suits. We'll go ahead and set up the stations for them. I'm not sure where we're going to pump oxygen from yet, but... Uh, let's see. We'll put in the checkpoint last. Uh, it's... Fine if we do it near the door, actually. circuit so we'll we'll have to um we'll run off two suits for now although I don't really want to block people from coming down here yet until we've got enough suits done that job. Let's see, I think Agrippa. Alright, Agrippa. You're gonna move up to higher research. Just drop the food right there, sure. Did we even check who's coming in? I think... Uh, we might have been getting Ruby next, actually. Simple tastes. She gets a food better than a one. She would actually be pretty good. So yeah, when we're ready, we'll bring Ruby. Shower. Grip 
is gonna have a bit of a shower. Research done. How's the temperature now at that wheeze wart? Gosh. It's getting quite warm in here, isn't it? But we've got a lot of heat areas exposed. I guess I need to shore those up. Like, <laughs> I need to just shore these walls up. Probably ought to do that. Uh, we'll do transit tubes next. Pretty much knocking out this research at this point. Suits. Okay, we're getting at this algae. We're going to want to start. All right, let's get our heat dealt with because we're. Getting a little bit toasty in here. Seal off some of this heat. Got it just coming in everywhere. Could probably just lock this off. I don't think we're going up here. So yeah, with these suits, we'll probably... It's gonna leave people kind of in the base for a while. I have some idols happening. Uh, it's time to explore. So we're running 310 on this circuit right now. As long as we don't activate these... Uh, we'll just run the we'll just run the wheel. It's gonna be another source of heat for a little while, but just temporary until. Filter it.
Once we can get out to here, we can start nabbing up any algae. We want to start getting this this ready. But we need to get over here. Get sub priority and all this. I'm not sure if that's actually airlocked or not. So we're gonna, in the meantime, start trying to lock down this heat as well. Eventually, we'll airlock this off. Alright, that should keep him occupied. Did that wire get missed? Oh, yeah, we need the checkpoint now. Right, so once the checkpoint comes in, we'll probably just lock this off entirely and send them down through the outside. Primarily so they'll just have more air. Although, we'll let them go down there right now. In the meantime... Uh, I can actually go ahead and break in there and get the... Maybe not that 
far. Let them get there. And then once they get there, we'll lock off this door. Space. So ramshackle. Seven. So get this on a seven. Actually, I replanted that. That's all right. What are they doing? They're happy. point nobody should be able to go out this way without a suit. What the hell has happened here? What the? Get out of there. <laughs> well, for fuck's sake, you silly creature. the research. These Drokos just get themselves caught in all kinds of ways, don't they? <laughs> We're just sucking all the air out of this area. It'll do that at the start until the suits are filled up, once the suits are filled up. That'll stop happening. Okay, so they've got that. We can block that off. They can't even reach any of this other stuff. Time, I want you guys. Those that can, I want you out there. Job mastered. All right, you're going to be a plumber. All right, that'll take the stress down, too, because nobody's going out in this water.
Perfect. Everyone's got a job to do. But nobody's down here anymore. Guess we don't really need to scrub carbon yet. We're getting there, but not yet. I hate building ladders sometimes because the act of building a ladder is so slow, but once they have a ladder, it's fast. Sometimes it's sometimes it's just better to dig like zigzags down where they can just jump, but considering they'll be using this path for a while, I suppose. Let's go ahead and build ladders. Yeah, because they had to go get supplies, and they got to come in, and kind of annoying, actually. Actually, I think we could build this out of igneous. That way, they don't have to go inside the base to to do this. there. It was all igneous anyway, they can just gather on site. We can finally get these pipes cleaned out. How's the heat? Pretty toasty. Cool, it's 30 degrees in here. do is wait at this point. I just gotta do the work. Entirely just build on site. Thank you. 
that Jerko. Oh well. He's adding positive uh, decor to the place. He should be. Is he? Yeah, very little, but he is. that because that's that's also leaking a bit of heat in lower part of the base the, the whole base just needs cleaned up again <laughs> actually if I dig uh, let's do this we can still get across there We'll dig that out so we can put a fire pole in here. Just keeps dropping stuff down here. They're so happy. They're thinking about meal lice. Man, they, they're having a whole conversation about meal lice. Yeah, look at him go. Uh, we'll go ahead and let him do whatever he's about to do. And then after that, we'll just lock this area off. He just dropped it to go get air. And the CO2 is starting to push up a little bit. triggers every once in a while. Okay, so let's just locking that off. Get all that cuz that's all copper. Do this so they can reach up there. All right, what's everyone doing? Yeah. Let's 
sub priority all of that so we'll always have two people out in suits uh, let's Dig that out. It's a sage hatch. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna cause a bit of a loop happening here, but there's a hatch down there, and I don't really want him eating that copper, so. We might end up with a suit. Someone's gonna enter the base with the suit on. I just don't want a hatches eating the copper. Should also probably get more storage. Put it up here where I meant to put it before. <laughs> Auto that not open it. Actually, if I let's do this. Priority. Then they won't even be able to climb back up there. There, that makes it so they can't loop back. this bleach stone. Pressurizing. We should probably get the um, get the scrubber going because the CO two is really seeping up here.
so everyone else has jobs. There we go. No more hatches eating the metal. Have I done any of the new space research before? No, I haven't. I haven't gotten that. I haven't managed to get that far yet. The hell? Who's starving? Go eat something, you numpty. Go have food. Go to the bathroom first, I guess. There you go, you're fine. Go eat some nice meal ice. So yeah. Yeah, one day I'll strike out into space. We we were we were kind of getting to the point where we were gonna start dealing with oil on the last map. And while the update didn't break the map, we just didn't get some of the we didn't get like the new creatures that were supposed to be on the surface, so I thought screw it. <laughs> I'll stream over the weekend. I don't normally stream on weekends. And I was like, I'll stream over the weekend. We'll do a new map and take advantage of the new creatures and whatnot. So I haven't managed to get that far yet. This is actually, let's see. This is actually my third map streaming it because the first map I streamed was like slime on all sides of me. So it was hard to move. And then I had played a new map over the weekend. And then when I... Then by the time the weekend was over, I was pretty much caught up to where my first map was. So I was like, oh, we'll just play this map. <laughs> yeah, one day I'll get out in space. I haven't even seen any of the new space stuff. Fine for auction. We still got enough algae to last a while. Welcome back, Dark Omen. I didn't know you had left. <laughs> the building lacks resources. What the hell are you talking about? Farm tiles. What? I guess we just had no one. We're not out of anything, are we? Holy shit, we're out of dirt. How the hell did we run out of dirt? Oh shit. Did we really run out of dirt? I've never run out of dirt before. I mean, we've got plenty of food, but uh, it's bad for these dudes. Oh shit. This is 
is bad. Crap. Fuck. Right, we're out of dirt. I've never run out of dirt before. There's no really tons of dirt. How did we go through all that dirt? That seems crazy. It's all sandstone, sandstone. There's a little bit up here. Dirt right there. Oh my god, I cannot believe we're out of dirt. This is bad. How am I gonna how am I gonna solve this? Granite, granite, ice, snow. It's got plenty of sand. This is bad. All right, well. I don't think we need that much food with these in here anyway. I can't believe we've run out of dirt. Let's look at this algae. This thing produces polluted dirt. I mean, this is right now, this is the only excess dirt source we're getting. I have five dupes and I have one th uh, fourteen th uh, 114,000 calories. So, I mean, I'm pretty okay. I could probably switch over to Bristle Blossom. In fact, we probably should. We should probably make a bigger switch over to Bristle Blossom at this point. Uh, there's some dirt here. I have never, ever run out of dirt before. Not ever. Normally I have like tons and tons of it, so it seems so strange that I just don't have any. Unless some of it's down here. There might be some of it stuck down here where the dupes aren't run into. In fact, if we get a ladder down here, maybe they gain access to some of it. Holy shit. Yeah, let's let's swap off to more bristle blossom. Not efficient lighting by far, but I'll just I'll 
That truly really is nuts. I've never had that happen before. Uh... Usually I've had, I mean, usually I've, I've grown this much before and run like 200 cycles and never run out of dirt. Not ever. It's gonna put our water on a bit of a timer. Am I gonna research? No, oh, this thing's out of dirt too. Oh my god. All right. Well, maybe we let this be the last of the research for a little bit because we don't need any more any more research for now. So. That is crazy. Until we can build up our dirt supply again. So this thing will turn sand into polluted dirt, which will then get dirt out of it, but... We're not really using it quick enough. Loki, feel like you have dirt that's just not reachable. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe there's some down in here we're just not able to reach. Like maybe some has fallen into this water and we just. I don't think I've blocked any off anywhere. So we can get down here and get over here. This is all there. We just can't get all the way into this pool. Unless this bloody hatch has been eaten at all. Doubt it, though. Yeah, there must be some that- we must have locked some off somewhere. That seems crazy. <laughs> yeah, 79 cycles around the dirt does sound really, really off. Like, that does not sound right at all. Like I say, I've gone a couple hundred cycles, done more plants than this, and just had plenty of dirt. Like, I had a uh, hundred and some tons of it. Uh, there's a little bit here, but yeah, so it does sound extremely strange that I'm just suddenly out. That's why I'm so <laughs> that's why I'm so shocked right now. I'm just going When did that happen? <laughs> there's no way we used all that dirt. Well, we can start getting it sleet wheat and some of these, um, this stuff, the, the, the pinch pepper nuts. That should help get us off of 
That's standard. There's not a lot of Wii's wart down here, is there? Okay, well, let's start harvesting all this if we can reach it. I build a ladder down here and we can get at this pinch pepper nuts. Don't even know what that is. Right. It's a mushroom. Okay, how much? Oh, we've got a. F we can start cooking, actually. down here and see what's down here. I think we definitely need to start scrubbing some carbon too. about a billion jobs and none of them are getting done. Right. Somebody get in here and build these ladders. See if we're just... Honestly, a lot of people drop stuff down this ladder. If I do this, dirt. Yeah, there's a little bit right there. <laughs> Very little. Not a lot. There is some. Okay. All right, they're gonna work on that. In the meantime, let's start scrubbing some carbon. At least then we can kind of speed that up a bit. Uh, we'll put it down here, probably. So nobody can get there because that tile. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. 
this out. We're going to leave the research just for a little bit until we're going to get this dirt under control. I'm so dang shocked we're out of dirt. That's crazy. Do I want that over there? Maybe not. Put it here. So closer to the pipes. Um... Insulated. Oh, this is going to be awkward. That pipe's disconnected, so actually... The pipe... So just empty that whole pipe. Hang on a second. Yeah, I mean, they can reach stuff all around here, so... Unless there's just... Wee's warden around here. A bit concerning, actually. All right. Uh <laughs> Just drowning. Eh, that's all right. It's phosphate coal. We're still threatening to freaking overheat in here. Uh, also, you're new to Twitch. Why do streamers? Your archive to YouTube versus Twitch itself. I do both, honestly. Um, I I archive here on Twitch and I archive on YouTube, just for which, whichever people want to see. It used to be when I put them on YouTube, I'd put them on like an hour long chunks, but I stopped doing that. But yeah, I'll just I just I archive everything, both places. Yeah, as for why others do it, I don't know. I suppose... I suppose they just don't want to take the time to highlight? I have no idea, actually. I suppose it's because actually... Well, I mean... Quite some time ago... Viewing VODs on Twitch wasn't actually very good. They would, the viewer was just kind of crappy. It's improved a ton since then, and really since I've had zero issues. But it used to be the VODs would just uh, buffer all the time, and of course they wouldn't hold your place, and it was just, it, it wasn't very good. And I think maybe a lot of streamers just probably stuck with it. So YouTube kind of bit was, you know, had a better viewer. And I know that's why a lot of them did it. But yeah, now it's probably not so much. I think, yes, some of them it's just old habit now. 
Plus, I didn't I didn't realize actually for quite a while. Um. That you could actually do it. Um, it used to be that VODs on Twitch, uh, well, the only way to get them to save permanently was to turn them into highlights. And originally, highlights couldn't be longer than, like, a, it used to be just an hour. Yeah, I think it used to be highlights couldn't be longer than an hour. And then a couple years back, Twitch um, undid that limit, and I didn't actually know about it. <laughs> it wasn't until I was looking through someone's VODs and I saw it was like a five-hour VOD, and I went, wait a minute. How did you get a five-hour highlight? <laughs> like, oh. They, they removed the restriction, and I didn't know about it, so. So yeah, what, when I realized that, I started archiving on Twitch as well. Jeremy, we're gonna keep. Kind of moving in this direction to see what we find. Actually, we're already getting to the lower portion of the map down here. What's happening? Oh, the ice up here, I guess, is melting a bit. Oh, uh, can get up here and check out this nullifier. God, YouTube was better, but Twitch stopped their... Stepped their game up. Pretty much, yeah. That's exactly what happened. That's pretty much exactly it. Alright. So I'm not going to power these fridges, because they'll just stay down here. They, they, they just have more carry capacity, but they'll stay down here in the CO2. None of it will go bad. Alright, let's get rid of these pipes as well. All of them. Oh, I didn't even see that one. That one's right there the whole time. See, I'm digging. Th oh, that's okay. All right, how much coal do I got? Twenty nine tons of coal. Huh. Uh, there's plenty of coal around here. the base. We've been going out a lot. Pressure's getting a bit a bit low. So is the algae. Got algae here. We've got another pocket over here. Oh, there's also this geyser here. We don't know what this is. Let's 
This map has seen this map has seemed a bit weird. Like it feels like algae's always been a bit skim on this map as well. Feel like I'm struggling against the clock just a little bit. Okay, we've got enough wheeze wart. I think we can begin this project. Then we can start pumping. That. What's this? Dirt? Sweep that. Sweep that. Let's not let the hatches have it. Then I think we'll lock this off because we're going to dig right through here to get into this chamber. I don't want this hydrogen going up. Honestly, we could probably just level this out. Actually... We're gonna do that. Okay, this job's been done. So, let's see. See how much does hundred and twenty watts when it's running, it's not gonna run that much. These aren't running right now, so it's only 140 even running on the circuit. Okay. We'll have to split these up eventually, but I feel like I <laughs> strangely feel like I'm running on a time limit here. Let's not. Let's do this. I'll disconnect that line. Insulated piping. We want to get fresh water over here. That's right. So yeah, as it processes fresh water, it's gonna send it over here. We might end up running out of water for a short while. That could be bad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that pump. What did I build this out of? Sandstone. Maybe I didn't want to do that. We don't really have enough granite, it's okay. <laughs> Did that thing just lay an egg and then just die? I feel like that's exactly what happened. Right there, it's the circle of life, yeah. Let's go ahead and get some bristle blossom here. Well, I'll 
uproot those. That should be okay. It does put us on a bit of a timer for water, but we've got this. And everything. There's a bit of dirt down here, but I definitely want that gotten. Gonna master artist. Uh, Avalon, do you like cooking? Not really. Nobody does, but somebody's gotta do it. I'm gonna have to start cooking up pinch of pepper nuts and sleet wheat. reach this? Surely someone can. Alright, also not writing computer. <laughs> Holy shit, we're getting hot in here. Damn. Let's see if there's any dirt in a slime biome, is there? Not really. Whoever that was, go eat food. Okay, we've got more spaces over here. Can't stay up there long enough to get them on the grooming table. Absolutely no one should be starving. We got food. You're fine. Go 
Get you some tasty, tasty meal lice. Chomp down on it. Pop it like a gross gusher. Just go to town. I feel like the base doesn't actually need to be this big. It feels bigger than it needs to be. We do have a couple like spaces that just aren't being used, like here. Okay, we got that. Pipe rolling. Nobody got out without washing their hands. All right. Let's see here. We'll start scrubbing this out of here. What made me want to move to Europe? Pretty much my girlfriend. <laughs> In fact, that was entirely, entirely the reason. My girlfriend was Dutch. We met online. We met with each other for a while. And then we decided, well, if we're going to stick it out, then one of us is going to have to, to move to the other, so... It just seemed more viable at the time for me to come here. So I, I came here and visited for a while, stayed for several weeks, decided if, you know, if it was my thing, decided I enjoyed it here. And so here I have been for going on, I don't even know how long it's been anymore. It's going on maybe 10 years, something like that, eight or 10 years. All right, we're skimming out the carbon, so that's going to help a lot. That's going to depressurize the fuck out of the base for a little while. It also should up our dirt production just a little bit. Okay, that sweeping job is done. Let's just do this. Deconstruct that. And that is entirely locked off. Uh, that one's not your first guess, but it sounds cool. Uh, you have to get your permanent visa right, yeah. Well, in order for me to continue staying here, I have to learn Dutch, and I'm very terrible at learning languages, but I have like a year in it. I see what's happening here. I know what's gonna happen, watch this. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's... <laughs> he's entombing himself. There we go. Um... 
So I have like basically a year and a half now. Because like, I think if you're here for 10 years, uh, to stay on, you have to know Dutch. <laughs> so I'm t like I say, I'm terrible at learning languages. Um, so I'm just, I'm cramming right now to try to learn it. Like, I am just cramming as much as I can. When we'll learn it, give her another decade. <laughs> It'll have another decade. Well, I have a year and a half to learn it. If I don't know it, if, if I'm not fluent enough, uh, there's a fine. And then I think I have, I think I have two more years. And then if I don't know it then, then I think they cancel my visa. So. I've tried for many years to learn the language, and it's tough. Um, but yeah, I'm getting better at it now. I'm actually starting to, I'm starting to pick up more of it than I ever have before, so. Give me enough time and I get there. <laughs> I've never been good at learning languages, gosh. When I was in high school and middle school, I tried to learn Spanish. Then when I was in college, I tried to learn Japanese. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, when I moved here, I tried to learn Dutch, and holy crap. Dutch is a hard language. It really is. It's not one of the easier ones, actually. But... <clears throat> let's see, let's deconstruct that. Don't need this door here. Uh, you should totally speak a little Dutch on stream for practice. I can speak a little bit. Depends on really what I need to say. Actually, here's a very common one for anyone that follows me on stream enough. When I have to take breaks to go to the bathroom, here's a very important one to know. Ik moet plassen. Which means I have to pee. <laughs> Or you could say, I'm pooping. <laughs> I have to poop. Very important words. Yeah, I can't really hold a conversation, though, is the only thing. That didn't remove all the food, did it? No. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Whoa, what's happening? Shit. How did you guys do this? Crap, guys. They were right there. I wasn't even paying attention. Blossom? Sounds like flower. Oh, no. Um, Plassen. Oh, I see how they're doing this. Look at this. Um, if you want to say flowers, flowers are blooming. Yeah, flowers are, are blooming. If you want to know, a tree is boom, which is spelled boom. 
So I always like to make the joke of like exploding trees. <laughs> yeah, I get my girlfriend a little bit of trouble sometimes because um, sometimes words just don't seem to fit. And one of them is like, uh, let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, peanut butter. Um, so yeah, peanut butter. Uh, butter in this language is bolter. And peanut is pinda. And so you think it'd be pinda bolter. No. It's pinda cas. Cas is cheese. And so it's peanut cheese. <laughs> so it's pinda cas. It's like, that's not peanut butter. So yeah, I like, <laughs> I like to make little jokes like that. Because it's just like... And then it was like... Um... So shoes is schoonen. Gloves is handschoonen. Socks are socken. So it's like gloves are hand shoes, but not hand socks. <laughs> it's so weird that like some things you would think they would choose different words. Dump that. this <sighs> all right we got a new egg Supply is getting a little worrisome. All right. Let's get down here and start getting this. Uh, what do we have access to? So now this is locked off in the base. Well, I was trying not to let those hatches on the floor, but oh well. Uh, they're European. What can I say? <laughs> they should make gloves be hand socking. Yeah, they, that that was my statement. It was like it should have been hand socking, not hand shoes. <laughs> Bit weird, isn't it? Uh, let's see. We need to still do more exploring here. Okay, now that this is entirely locked off, we can start going after this. So we're gonna wanna get in here. Probably just gonna make a whole base in here, so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
lock that off when we go in. <laughs> yeah, Dark, Dark Roman's from, from Florida. Netherlands is a nice country, though. I do enjoy it here. It's it's cold a lot. <laughs> Summers don't last very long here, and they're very mild. Okay, so we got idle happening. Um, actually, we can have guys start sweeping up, I guess, if they want to. Everything but a critter egg. Thing actually cross this gap here. Don't think they can. Uh, the Pantan of Florida is the third world right now. I live in Central Florida. Huh. Tell you what, the whole U.S. isn't doing too well right now. Christ, is this really full? Holy shit! Wait, I thought these held more. Hang on. I thought those held more than the boxes, they don't. Huh. Put a couple more down, sure, why not? Yeah, next step is getting this geyser dealt with. <laughs> well, you went up and around. Didn't want to go through it. Going. Oh. Doesn't help, I can't really touch this. <laughs> I just can't touch that. Alright, I have no idea where my guys in Exer suits ran off to. And why we're low on algae again. Have to get this water sieve going. Because. Or not the water sieve, but this, this geyser. You could temporarily use this source, but I'd rather not.
we got oil down here. Pepper is going to make it. Right, let's do Geez, a bit, a bit concerning at the moment. Actually, we can get up there and get that too. hitting a slight sur surplus in dirt hopefully So you want to insulate that. Then again, it's not that warm. I mean, it's warm. It's not that warm. Try to save those pinch of peppers, pinch of pepper nuts. Actually, before. Do that. I don't want that water to break down into here. All right, 
right, it's releasing some of the pressure that's in here too. This thing wasn't being very efficient because it just, just was at pressure the whole time. Okay, dirt supplies, we're at 25, all right, we are making a surplus now, that's good. <laughs> um, sand, we'll live. Uh, we've got a bit of gold, we're gonna need more gold. Um, coal, coal's okay. And we get a little bit of excess algae, that's good. So I mean, this little bastard doesn't eat at all. Get that on the seven. Don't want that hatch eating the dirt. <laughs> I want to leave that there's thing, reach that. One's master job. Good. Oh, I think that's just unreachable because the door's closed. Everyone's inside right now, so... It says they can't reach it until this... Wait, why is no one out? Oh, the suits weren't charged up, that's why.
don't think we'll be able to reach that tile, but that's okay. Alright, once this all gets dug out, um, where are we going to set up the power system? Uh, I haven't unleashed any slime low. I'll just set it up here. It'll be easier just to pipe it straight up here. Enough on the sleet wheat, we do need it. Although, I keep forgetting I gotta do this. Hit! There we go. <laughs> and it's meal time. in here. We'll get it sorted. Once we get the oxygen system set up, it'll cool down. Should cancel analysis for now, because we only have two suits. And I don't need a scientist out there analyzing why this job's need done. Back to work, guys. And once we got oxygen taken care of, we'll be able to get the rest of the suits for everyone, and then it pretty much takes off from there. Just need to get that far, plus get our food sorted. Scientist Agrippa. I dig that out. Alright, both you right now are champions, alright? <laughs> Y'all are champions. Thank you. 
So let's see, once they get this built, we need to do the whole... The whole system. Now, I want to do this a little bit differently than before. Because it might actually make make it so we don't have to use as much wheeze wart. So if we put one there, wheeze wart. And pull it wheeze wart. So the idea is we're going to run, just have two wheeze wart and snake the coils vertically. It's gonna get rid of that, but that's okay. Plant pot wheeze wart. Wheeze wart. Paused. <laughs> let's see, let's put a gas vent. Material. Shouldn't entomb that. Uh, I'll need a spot for the pump to go, actually. the door down here so there we go uh what instant 
What insulation? I'm using igneous for this. It'll take the igneous a while to cool down, but when it does, it's really good. I thought I was using igneous. Wait a minute. Oh, for fuck's sake, it changed. It's not what I used at all. I used. I. Yeah, that's igneous. That's fucking sandstone. Damn it. Build there. Why not insulate the steam vent? It's not that hot. I mean, I guess I could. It's kind of warm. <laughs> I suppose if anything, I just insulate the base instead. Actually, I'm going to need... Actually... There's a clever little trick I can do where I don't actually have to put a pump in here to vacuum it out. We'll do that. Fill this with hydrogen. The insulated igneous rock. Hang on, freaking <laughs> toaster pop up on my thing. I really wish one of the streamers I follow didn't constantly change their freaking title. Uh, the insulated igneous rock is doing good work in my experience. It usually does. I mean, it, it's plentiful. It's it's slow to insulate. So like, it actually takes it a while to like regulate. But when it does, it usually. That's usually kind of the benefit of it, I guess, because if it suddenly gets really hot outside, it doesn't soak into the igneous that fast. On the flip side, if you're trying to cool something down inside, it takes it a while for the heat to dissipate off the insulated tile as well. It's more like it just kind of offsets slow changes. At least, like I say, it's been that way in my experience. I did it last time and it seemed to work just fine. Let's get that. Let's do that. I have no way to get back over here. So, I mean, yeah, slow heating. So it, it, it heats and cools very slowly. I try to launch some rockets? I'm, I'm gonna try to. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if I'll have enough time. I've got a week left. Um, after this week, uh, I'm gonna be out of the country for two weeks, so... I don't know if... I don't know if we'll get that far. Um, and then when I come back, Fallout 76 is gonna be out. And if, and if Fallout 76 turns out to be good, then, well... That's what I'm gonna be playing. Uh, let's actually use sandstone for this, because... Actually? Let's, n let's use thermally reactive stuff. Sedimentary is...
probably end up using... Sad to hear possibly being last week, yeah. I'm going I'm going to the States for a couple weeks. Uh I'm gonna go into a friend's wedding and then I'm gonna visit some family for a very short time, and then I'll be back after a couple weeks. And Fallout 76 should be out then. And if Fallout 76 turns out to be good, we'll be playing that for a while. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see like how I feel when I come back, cause I won't be able to play this game for a couple weeks, and I'm loving this game too much. So <laughs> let's see. Seven? Yeah, it is. They're not building it. Yeah, it's Prime Marvel's wedding. Really, you guys are gonna get in here? Of course you are. I hate Draco sometimes, because it's like they get in your builds. As soon as you start building something, they get in it. A phone in <laughs> I want a phone in text if he streams it. Let's uproot that one. Oh, that's oh, that's just igneous. Food and water. Water supply is okay. Gone through a lot of water, but now that we're not researching at the moment, I'll be all right. Need to get. We need to get the power network set up so we can get these batteries out of here. These batteries are eating us up in heat. I feel like I should have done this on the other side because I'm going to have to route water over here. Love to know how they got the water to react to rocks and other objects clinging to it. And it's very curious how they did like the whole surface tension thing. Because water doesn't quite act like water in this game, but it's quite interesting how it does what it does. Good job, Master Courier.
Okay, am I gonna double this up? Probably, actually. do this. <laughs> I'm trying to sit here. I'm trying to sit here and remember how this works. I gotta rebuild it in my head. Okay. I've always thought it was weird that water floats on oil in Oni. Oni, Oni stands for oxygen, not included. Uh, you're still puzzled how exactly you'll do the stream. Worst case, you can always hand off your phone to someone sitting in the front and tell them to just point. Interesting new game out called Return of Obadin. Looks interesting. Made by the guy that made Papers, Please. Obadin. What's it about? Essentially, just gonna repeat this build. This side.
Okay. Uh... Where's our algae? Eh. Let's get this algae first. And it should tide us over till we finish this job. Uh... See, a ship comes back to port, and you're an investigator told to go aboard and find out what happened. You're, <laughs> you're given a diary, although it said you are given a diarrhea. <laughs> you're given a diary, a watch that lets you go back to the point of death when you find a body. Oh, neat. Storage has filled up fast, hasn't it? Okay, next we do radiant pipes. Nope, radiant gas pipes. Make them out. Oh, wow, we really don't have much of anything, do we? I suppose Wolframite will make this shit ice cold. Diary, diarrhea. You can write with. <laughs> you can write with both. Ew. Oh yeah, I sent him over here to get this algae. That's right. I was like, where'd everyone go? Uh, they're over here doing exactly what I told them to do. this thing has gone dormant. Suddenly it's very quiet. Okay, the next things we need are atmo sensors. Here, here. Here. That goes there. And we are out. Uh, we've got more iron, to be honest. Let's make it out of iron. Turn of Ober Din. Kind of reminds me of that game Ghost Trick. Man, Ghost Trick was good. Ghost Trick was really good. Alright, that algae should tide us over. 
So this build is done. Sometimes we have I swear sometimes one goes missing, but I think it's the way it counts it. Idle. Why? Why is this not being done? Oh, because the iron was out there. I see. gonna uproot that one. I don't think we need it. Might need it though. Man, we got a lot of eggs in here. Uh, completely unrelated. Have you heard of a show called Wishbone? I have, yes. I had a friend that used to watch that show a lot. Not that he had much choice, he didn't have cable, <laughs> he just had an antenna. But he watched a lot of PBS. But it was it was a good show. I knew it. Where'd you get that wheeze wart from? Cancel that uproot then. But we do need it for the base, really, but. Okay, have they done this job? Let's see. Why is that. Oh, I see why that's different. Um. There. Algae should tide us over till the project is done. But yeah, Wishbone was a it was a TV series, usually on PBS. I'm not sure if it ever ended up on any cable stations or not. I just realized that the stress levels. Maybe Avalon doesn't come out for a little while. You can come back in, but you can't go out. <laughs> Until you calm the fuck down, Jesus.
actually. Gas pipe. And so that build, because we need to vacuum out this this space. I'll go for a ladder. Since I can't go over the ladder. Let's see the do <laughs> the door with the books. All right, I see exactly what you're doing here. How about, no, you've already entombed yourself. You've both entombed yourself, oh, for fuck's sake, guys. Good job. Now I have to cancel these builds because you're stupid. doing anything. <sighs> oh, you're just making it worse. this now. Yeah, that's definitely not how to become a champion, is to entomb yourself. This little shit's trapped in here.
There you go, stupid. <laughs> Good God. Don't you dare piss yourself either. Fail to believe you don't have to go to the bathroom. Do not piss the floor. Alright? Alright, well. <laughs> they've got nothing to do right now. Because I locked them inside. All right, we got a champion out here. Uh, no, nope, yeah, no nope blossing on the floors. Please, no blossing. All right, these dudes need something to do. We've actually kind of done everything inside the base, isn't it, haven't we? We've cl <laughs> they've cleaned up. Suppose we could get some cooking done. We need more wheeze wart though. We don't really have the suits to go out there and do it. Alright, let's continue our research job. Well, we're, we're starting to gain a bit of a surplus on dirt now, so it should be okay. We'll, we'll take it slow. There, now they got something to do. I can already see what you're doing. Don't even try me. You're gonna do it, aren't you? No. Yeah? this happened <laughs> fuck's sake guys <laughs> to get that hatch out of there too because if that thing's in there and it dies we're gonna end up with polluted oxygen in there
Sometimes. Sometimes you see a dupe about to kill themselves and you're like, oh, just do it. If it wouldn't cause such a morale issue. Epilon's getting worse. Some more paintings around. We don't have enough paintings actually. Let me give these losers something to do. No one's entombed or trapped, are they? Okay, good. supposed to be a simple job. I see what you're doing. You've already done it. Stop. I see what's happening here. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, thank God. Jesus. <laughs> Don't watch them every step of the way. They're just going to keep doing this. It's because of this gap. It's this gap mainly doing it, but they're pretty hell-bent on just burying themselves. I'm gonna ask how you got in there. Oh, that chamber's getting cold already. Okay, can I build the rest of this setup without you guys? Needed to connect that to there. That to there.
Bury that hatch, please. looking right now. Uh oh. What's happening? I see what's happening. All the algae's outside. The oxidizer's not been on. God, we're all gonna we're all gonna suffocate. We're all gonna suffocate before we get this oxygen generation fixed. Normally that message, insufficient oxygen generation, usually just means you're producing slightly less than what they're breathing. In this case, the base wasn't producing any. Oops. Oh, there's still patch down here. Tank this bloody thing. Because now it's trapped in there. So is that thing. <laughs> Look, this little sage hatch grew up. Or hatched. Sage hatch hatched? It's a hatchery. We could have a hatch hatchery. That's entirely possible. We got to mop up everything. get a little tighter in a minute too. Oh for fuck's sake, this <laughs> Now this freaking Drekos in here. This one's embedded in the wall, but that one's fine, because it doesn't really matter if... Any particularly gross gas gets in there. It matters in here, though.
face pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, this thing's not even doing anything. Sorry, guys. you off to? Oh, get more algae. Okay, radiant pipes are going in. thing going off when above <laughs> that hatchery is a catastrophe get out of here freaking dracos they're like cats dracos are basically the cats of oxygen not included They will find where you don't want them to be, and they'll be in there. Okay. <laughs> it's getting a little better. God, the oxygen must have been off for a while. God, I'm, I'm so focused on this electrolyzer setup. Temperature in here is freaking insane. For the most part, the temperature is sealed. A sign from over here, and I can't do much about that because I cannot touch that slime. Maybe once... Oh, that looks like that's gone up. Oh, no, it hasn't. Technically, we don't really need that anymore. We could just lock. We could just get rid of that, or yeah, get rid of that. Lock that off because we're not really using it. I see that Draco heading for the door. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We're just missing an Atmos sensor here and some automation wire.
Okay, we want that. Basically, just gonna make sure that doesn't go off. Because that's gonna control the electrolyzer, and we don't want that going off till we vacuum this out. God, Avalon. What is Avalon doing? Making paintings. sure why Avalon keeps just staying stressed. Like, what's your problem? You're grimy, you're hungry, and you have low oxygen. Okay, that's fair enough. You can take a shower, and you can eat food. You have food, right? Bristleberries, there's no meal license there. But he's nobody's going hungry. Maybe it's no, there's no pets. Okay, I think we're about done here. Next step is we need to... Uh, let's do this. So that up there. And the sage ones look kind of mean. <laughs> All right, you're just grimy now. Well, you should start going down. Hang on, wait a second. What is your stress response? Binge eater, of course it would be binge eater. Get freaking de-stressed, please.
Okay, get this box built. Next step is we'll need to start outputting this hydrogen. Or no, first we need to vacuum. But we need to get this shit out of here first. Seriously, guys, everyone's suffocating in the meantime. Shouldn't be this stressful. <laughs> Shouldn't be this stressful. I'm ahead of the curve, and yet for some reason everything's... I mean, I'm really ahead of the curve. I cannot figure out why. I feel like I'm... Like I'm struggling. Get all this shit out of here. Click on my dupe, then kick on the stress percentage. Well, I know it's Avalon that's stressed. Avalon's at... Chrome Warrior's getting a little bit stressed, too. Probably because of the low oxygen. Tell specifically what's causing the stress. Well, I think I think low oxygen is affecting most of them. Like he's grimy, low oxygen. Avalon's just grimy, honestly. So Avalon's coming down. I mean, they could take showers. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> so, one of them was in here and died. And then the instant someone came in here to sweep up, this fucker got in here. You guys are the... Fucking worst. Get out. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, stress is coming down now. I think it was mainly just primarily the low oxygen, and plus Chrome Warrior comes out a lot, so it's it's not up to his expectations out here. I really want to keep these doors open, but I know as soon as I do. This little bastard's gonna come in. Look at him, he's going for it. I will kill you! If you even so much... If you even so much as to want to try... <laughs> Look, he, he did it. Yep, he got in. <laughs> Can't get these assholes out of there. happening. Ugh. Was the red pulling things? They're sweep orders. Now they're all running off to get some algae. Guys, here's a project for you to work on. Okay, once that's swept out, we'll lock those doors. and then start vacuuming the chamber. How the hell? Oh, it's taking so long. Folks are calm and down, except for Grippa's getting a bit stressed now. Probably because probably cause when they're standing around, they're standing in not pretty places. Alright, this project almost finished. We just need to get it done. <laughs> Oxygen slowly balancing out.
Hmm, that's an extra dirt dirt supply. You guys are truly gonna fill up that container. One's already done art. That one, you can do that. Yeah, no, we need dirt. <laughs> We're still not fully on top of dirt yet. Find any tags to use? They're in the mobile app now. I haven't even bothered with tags, cause you have to reset them every single time, and none of them are honestly none of them are that descriptive. I actually hate the tags. Yeah, every, every time after a stream is over, they just reset the tag, so I have to re-put them in every single time. The only thing that stays is the language you're broadcasting in, and that's it. God, how much is this... You have no idea how that gets on there. Yeah, it it does it. It um, because in your Twitch settings you can set what your language is, and it just picks up off of that. I finally figured that out. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna keep waiting to go in and out of this door before you actually open it. Freaking hell, how much stuff is in there? <laughs> We're filling so many containers with just crap. How much is still here? ton of those granite and stuff here. I'm gonna build another freaking storage container. Alright, how are we doing? We're getting a bit thicker. Finally. Oh, 
Come on, guys. This job is taking way too long. Way too long. We should have been done with this like 20 cycles ago. I know it's only two people working on it because we only have two suits, but I only have enough oxygen generation to support two suits. <laughs> This map just feels so weird, cause like, well, oxygen's been a bit of uh, dirt. We ran out of dirt at one point, and then algae. Algae seems to be strangely lacking. My base is kind of big though, but that really shouldn't matter. I know there's a lot up here actually. Could maybe open that door and let it down. Hydrogen in here. Oh shit, you know what's happened? Because the pressure, oh god. Because the pressure is in here is so low, the hydrogen's seeping out. We'll let the base get depressured. <laughs> oh crap. That was a bit of a problem I didn't didn't anticipate. Oh well. That'll work. All right, are we about swept out here? I feel like we must be. I think we're just trying to figure out what to do with these bottles of water, which should be okay. All right. So now we want to Actually no, we want to lock these. Fine if there's some stuff in here. Actually, no, we don't want to lock these. Set them back to auto. We haven't attached any wires yet. Auto, auto. Okay. Okay. So next step is we need two hydrogen pumps. I'm not braining right now. One for you, and one for you. Need to get a wheel set up to kickstart everything. Pump out of gold. I don't think we really need to, but that's what we're gonna do. So first, we're gonna vacuum everything out. Uh, 
much copper do we have? Let's use iron. Too much for that circuit to start off, but Waited to do that job. All right. Well, that was a good part about having this is. We could vent the hydrogen if ever that happened. And it happened. Uh, time for a new map. <laughs> Tell you what. Kind of, a, I feel like I'm in an unusual panic right now. And I really shouldn't be. Oh, I really, really shouldn't be. We're getting close to progress, I need to reset, I know, right? Just need to get the base reoxygenated. Running out of algae again. Still a couple pockets of it, but it's getting well tighter than I'm comfortable with. It's really hard to see algae when they duck the screen like that. Someone will end up on the wheel to vacuum this out, and then we've got to start working on getting oxygen pumped in. thing we need is we don't have these running probably won't run them to start so I'm not gonna do this we're 
We're going to fill that chamber first. So we're keeping this open down here with these airflow tiles, so we won't have to vacuum this out. We'll just vent hydrogen into here and it'll push all the other gases out. Funny thing is, I didn't, I didn't honestly know I'd end up playing this game this long. Like, you know, after, you know, I know we had stopped Empyrean, and I was like, man, I really want to play this game. And then I thought, you know, I'd play it for maybe a week, and then I'd be done with it, but. It's just got that, it's got that RimWorld feel. Plus, it feels like every time I play it, each map kind of provides a unique challenge, and something always ends up being too tight, you know, like some kind of resource is a bit tight, and then I'll do something wrong. <laughs> I'll always do something wrong. Everyone's idle, but the stress is down to 6%, so that's good. Okay, almost all the wires are hooked in. Hang on a second, we don't have... Getting a lot of important stuff here. <laughs> uh, rim addict. <laughs> All right, Dark Omen, have a good night. Uh, I was gonna quit. I'm gonna quit when I get this oxygen setup finished. Like th <laughs> this oxygen setup is just taking so damn long. really was not meant to take this long, like this is just freaking madness how long this is taking. Is there any other algae we can dig out in the meantime? Not comfortably. Base is filling up. So when you get up you'll still be streaming? Yeah. <laughs> It feels like it. Like I, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna stream this long. I was like, you know what? I'll stream for a few hours, and that's it. But then I always forget that sometimes, 
things don't go as I plan and I end up streaming for way too long. Cause I know they'll start running on that when that kicks on. No complaints. And I mean, I'm hoping it's entertaining, cause I feel like I feel like I'm taking too long with this. Holy crap! Ten minutes. Yeah, I know it's about to be five a.m. Stop torturing us with streams and making <laughs> making people watch. <laughs> Isn't there more algae over here? There's some right here. We're not desperate yet, but we're getting there. Looks like the oxygen's We'll have to power up the pipe too, but the pipe's not. Eight hundred and forty watts on this thing. Okay, are we hooked in? I think we are. Someone get down here. I think we need to go in here anymore. Ugh, end of the day. We're almost there. <laughs> Almost there! Come on! We gotta vacuum this out, make sure there's nothing in here. Let's see, so make sure I did all this right. 
That's all hooked into there. We'll have to separate the circuits when we introduce the pump. And then... Yeah, all that's hooked in. Good. All right, have a good night, Dark Omen. I suppose I'm, I suppose in the end I'm just making up I'm just making up time for not being here for two weeks. I can hear this thing. Just to be safe, let's... Get the remnants of this algae. This one pumping. Pressure's too high. I figured it would be, but I cut a corner. Deliver that sleet, we can get out here. <laughs> coming to do this job. Oh look, Dark Roman's gonna do it. down to less than a thousand algae here. It's 
Pipes are nice and cold. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Speed everything up. <laughs> Hello, Come on, double time. Vessel. What's up? <laughs> oh, I know what time it is. I said I'm gonna get this oxygen done. <laughs> Getting this oxygen done is my goal. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Like, I'm not gonna be able to sleep if I don't get this done. Someone get on the wheels. Or not. You are all going to suffocate to death unless we can get this done. <laughs> Once we get this going, we can go ahead and start pumping the oxygen in, even if this chamber's not full. Okay. Almost got a vacuum. <sighs> Eight hundred algae. <laughs> guys. Actually... 
600 LG. <laughs> Okay, the first chamber is a vacuum now. Uh, going okay, all right. Have a good night. All right, Rick, have a good one too. I'm, I'm about done, we're almost there. Everything's a vacuum, we've done it. Okay, we're ready. Let's see if the pressure is below. Kick that off. The electrolyzers are ready. We just need to get the pump ready. So we need to disconnect one of these circuits. Gonna be too much for that circuit, so we'll temporarily oh, we need to bypass one of these. Deconstruct that. Oh, this is a mess. Cancel deconstruct. We're going to move the wheel. Struck that wheel. Sub priority this. to just deconstruct this wire that separates that circuit
deconstruct that vent. Deconstruct that one. cycle oh, come on you bastards we're almost there completely out of algae. Between the dirt and the algae, I cannot believe it has been this tight. Why did the system shut off? Current pressure is below 1100 grams.
at least one pipe going. Jesus, guys. I just want this to end. Uh. Oh, I so want this to end. We're down to a hundred kilograms of algae, guys. We're cutting it down to the absolute limit. Okay, we're doing it. Pumped in a little bit of hydrogen, but... Got some oxygen. Thank God. Problem is, the system keeps running out of power. Probably jumpstart this one. Actually, have this one be powered? I don't know. I think we did it. <laughs> We're now completely out of algae. There's still a little bit to dig over here, but... Holy crap, talk about cutting it to the frickin' wire. That's the only downside right now, somebody has to... ...to man it. Or we could use coal. The 
oxygen come out. It's a little bit warm. But... I think we're gonna live. <laughs> I think I've done it. <laughs> God, we pulled it to the wire. We have no algae left. That was closer than I ever want it to be. And once this chamber fills up, we can close it all off. But yeah, someone will be down here running on the wheel. Basically until this starts spitting hydrogen out down here. Although, well, no. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and kickstart this other system. So let's see, what we'll do here... Then we at least have a system that's always running. So deconstruct that pipe. That is seven. Done this so inefficiently, it's crazy, but... My only worry now is this thing. This thing worries me! Because it's gone dormant. Alright, if we hook that one in, we can entirely jumpstart this one. So we'll actually put this wheel back. And then that should do it. <laughs> Holy crap, I cannot believe we took it down to zero algae. I can't believe we ran out of algae so quickly. A hundred cycles in and we ran out of algae. I know there's a little bit there. There's like some hanging out over here. I think just on this map they spread the algae out a lot more. What was that? Okay, I think we can just jump start this one. There we go. All right. Yeah, I mean, the thing of it is, we're only 112 cycles in. Normally, you can go quite a bit longer. But the algae was just very spread out on this map. It's... Kind of nuts. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting it, like, to entirely honest. I've done this several times, and normally you can get up to, like, quite high in cycles before you run out of algae, and for some reason in this case, 
The algae is just very, very spread out. And we actually ran out of dirt, too. Like, I've never, in the entirety of playing this game, run out of dirt. So we're, we're getting some back now from the sieve, but... That should keep this system going, so we'll have a constant uh, constant power on this one. This one's just going to have to run until we get this filled up with hydrogen. Once that's filled up with hydrogen, we'll be set. I can see that one just runs out. <laughs> yeah, the map seed's random. Because there's a little smidge over here. There was some around here somewhere. A lot of it's been spread out into these biomes. Like, there's some here. Um, I think there's some over here somewhere. I could see it. So let's see. How's that doing for the temperature? Wow, we are hot. That is some cool air coming in. And we're finally repressurizing. Oh look, we got a glossy. Yes. All right, we can probably close this now. So I think the hydrogen, <laughs> after we depressurized, I think the hydrogen's all up here now. There we go. Yeah, you're a good Draco. Who's the mama or papa? That'll be a good start. Okay, this is almost full. So we'll probably want to pipe it. We'll let it go for a little while longer. Uh, what pipe did I use? Uh, what pipe did you use? to my bathroom and what material? Uh, well, I used insulated pipes for the bathroom, and then these are just sandstone. They're not too bad. The bathroom itself always ends up quite hot. Mainly because this thing turns water quite warm. But we've got all these batteries in the base, and we need to get them out. Alright, so are we good? I think we are. We're pressurizing. Good. That means we can finally start doing other stuff. This is cool air coming out, so now we'll start to cool down a bit. Once the base is pressurized, uh, we'll pipe these straight into the suits. We'll get rid of this. And we'll start making more suits. I think we can support it now. I need to get someone down here to analyze this, because I know this has been dormant for a while. Alright, I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Normally this part of the game isn't that stressful. Normally I get oxygen generation set up pretty quick. It's usually not bad, but I, the first issue we had was no real easy to reach uh, fiber. So I had to set up and get some Drekos. And then we ran out of dirt. <laughs> We've got dirt coming in again. 
think means we can kickstart the research again. Yeah, this is, I ne my base, I never let my base get this hot. This is unusual for even me. down to 13 degrees. It's like quite warm in here. 63 degrees. Okay. I think I'm good to go now. <laughs> I've streamed way too long. Way, way too long. This was only meant to be a short stream just to kind of for me to get some stuff done and instead I streamed several hours beyond my time, but yeah, look, we're at pressure now. Well, down there we are. Ah, <sighs> good. And we almost lost oxygen because <laughs> I didn't realize that um, all the algae was outside the base and I had everyone who had suits working on this setup so no one was refilling the algae. So the base massively depressurized and I think we're okay now. I think we're all right. <sighs> I can rest easy now. I can relax tonight. And that means with the oxygen we can finally get the sixth dupe. Good lord. Uh, we'll need to go get more wheeze warts so we can cool to help cool down the base. Uh, we've got some over here. Start now's, now's the time we start exploring. Uh, we've got this natural gas guys that we'll start using for power soon. That's probably the next setup we'll do. And then there's a geyser over here somewhere. We, I want to see what this is. Uh, we'll figure out some way to tap this thing. I'll decide what that's for. I mean, we could. I guess I could have used it for oxygen uh, or scrubbers and used this for algae, but I didn't think about that. I thought I had plenty algae. Normally I do. So yeah, it looks like we're... Oh yeah, we're at pressure now, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. We can actually just leave that open, we don't really need to seal it. And then once that kicks in, he doesn't have to run on the wheel anymore. Actually, stop running on the wheel right now. I'll put you on a priority eight to do that, because... We'll just get off the wheel. Now re-enable the wheel. Although that should kick in before the power kicks off, yes. Yep, oh, we just ran out. We gotta jump start that one, since this one runs the pump. <sighs> Alright, guys. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. <laughs> I 
I didn't mean to go so long. It is now 5.30 in the morning for me. I can't believe how long it took to do this, but I guess with only two dupes with suits... This map just threw a challenge at me. I didn't... I didn't expect. I didn't expect dirt to be short, and I didn't expect algae to be so short. But, um... Alright, now the next worry, we have to worry about this thing running out of water, unless this thing goes live soon. But I think we'll be okay. Typically, these things run in time. If not, we'll drop this down in. And we just won't have... Crystal Blossom for a little while. Perfect, yeah. Bases... The base is now pressurized, so I think we're good to go. Good luck, everyone. And we got the stress down, too. <sighs> Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty sure I saved it. Ugh, I can't believe I played so long. I was so desperate to get that oxygen set up, and I cannot believe it took so long. <laughs> it took so long to get that oxygen set up. Uh, I just should have done the- I should have done that first. We knew that geyser was there for the longest time. Well, I guess I- well, no, I was working- I was- was looking for the wheeze wart. I needed that. But yeah, I- <laughs> I maybe dallied a bit too long on getting that set up, so. But yeah, thank you guys, uh, for hanging out with me tonight. I will be back tomorrow night, because tomorrow night's my regular scheduled time. So, um, and then this week is my last week for two weeks, and then I'm on vacation for two weeks, so, um, yeah, but we'll continue this. Hopefully we can get to the rocketry. I don't know. <laughs> if things keep taking this long, but once we get suits for everyone, everything should speed up quite a bit, so shouldn't take so long this time, hopefully. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good one. Night-night.